Today I'm going to show you how to turn any pictures into a custom brush for Photoshop. It's really fun and can be very lucrative, but most importantly, it's very easy. So if you're ready to learn some cool Photoshop tricks, then grab your snacks, get comfortable, and let's get cracking. This video is brought to you by the official Francois Formi store. Edit your pictures like a pro using one tap with my new Lightroom and Photoshop presets. Get 5% off your first order with coupon code FRANCOIS5 by following the link in the video description. What's up everyone, my name is Francois, thanks so much for joining me on this beautiful day. So the other week I made a video on how to make money with Photoshop. It's a really cool video showing you how easy it can be to create passive sources of income and I made the point that it can be really quite lucrative to create and sell your own Photoshop brushes. I did explain briefly how to do that, but I do think it's worth making a special video about it since it's such an easy thing to do and, just like a lot of cool things inside of Adobe's products, it's very hidden away. So let's jump into it, but not before you smash the like button for the algorithm. If we manage to get this video to a whopping 10 likes, I will show you a picture of a really cute turtle at the end of the video. So with that out of the way, let's start with the first example. I'm going to create a new document. 1920 by 1080 should do just fine for now. Let's import the picture that you want to turn into a brush. I'm going to use mm, this one. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is to isolate the background from the foreground. I'm going to use the remove background tool, but if you want a detailed tutorial on how to do that precisely and how to fix any mistakes, I've got a whole video about it, which I will link in the card over here and in the description below. So make sure to check it out. So I've ended up with this, which looks amazing, right? Feel free to spend as much time as you want on the details if you're going to want to sell them later. Now before we do anything else, because of the way brushes work, you're going to want to invert the colors. Now bear in mind that this is about to look like Nightmare fuel type stuff, so get ready, my friend. So press Ctrl Command I on the keyboard, or go up to Image, Adjustment, Invert. Now this is looking even worse. Where the heck is this going? Don't you worry, my friend. Now the next thing you want to do is look away and press Ctrl or Command A on your keyboard to make a selection of the whole canvas. With that selection still active, go up to Edit and scroll down until you find Define Brush Presets. Now you can already see a nice preview here and I'm just going to press Cancel for now and show you what it would have looked like without the inverted image. So this is what the brush would have looked like without the inversion of the colors. So with this, you would have been able to replicate nightmares everywhere. <laughs> so let's just cancel that and go back to normal. So again, with the colors inverted, make a selection of the whole canvas by pressing Ctrl Command A on a the keyboard, then go up to Edit and select Define Brush Preset. Let's give it a name. I'm going to call mine thumbs up and press OK. Now you can already see it pre-selected and it's looking funny already. So let's now create a nice background. Let's go for like a nice warm toned uh, gradient. Create a new layer and now with a white brush, look who's there. Now you can have a big Francois here, but you can also have a small Francois here, an even smaller Francois here, and so on. And the family carries on. You can even have one here if you want it. So that's with, with this picture. Let's just create a brush from a different picture now. I'm going to create a new document by pressing Ctrl Command N and let's make this one 1000 by 1000 pixel. Now again, import the picture that you want to turn into a brush. I'm going to go for this one just because why not? So believe it or not, this is actually a screen grab from a reaction video as I've made recently. I do not know why I've made this face. I have no idea, but I want to turn it into a brush. So let's do this. So again, let's isolate the foreground from the background. I've once again used the remove background one click function in Photoshop, but I've had to go back into the select and mask options just to fine tune the selection a little bit. Again, if you want to know everything there is to know about how to remove backgrounds with just one click, I've got a full tutorial on that, which will be in the description below. So there's angry caveman Francois here. Again, with the layer selected and not the layer mask selected. I will go up to Image, Adjustment, and Invert. Or you can press Ctrl and Command I on the keyboard. This is looking even scarier. I'm really sorry for the most sensitive of you. I should have put a warning at the beginning of this video. Anyway, let's make a selection of the whole canvas by pressing Ctrl or Command A on the keyboard. Then go up to Edit and select Define Brush Preset. Let's give it a name and press OK. Once again, let's make a nice background and test our new brush on top of it. Create a new layer, press B on your keyboard to bring up the brush tool, and it's already pre-selected. Look at that, this is looking fantastical. <laughs> so because this channel is dedicated to making you the ultimate content creator and creative editor, I'm not gonna stop there because it's too easy. Let's just take this one step further, shall we? 
Let's create a new document which I will make once again 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel. One more time, let's create a nice gradient. Anything we'll do for now, this is just to show you some cool technique. Now, if you go up to Windows, there's this little menu called Brush Settings, which allows you to add a lot more function to just the single brush that you have. Basically, what I want to do is to be able to click, hold and drag my brush anywhere on the canvas and have loads of little me pop up on the canvas. Because I think this is what the people want, right? And at the moment, if I do that, it looks rubbish. So let's just cancel that. What I'm going to do is in the brush settings menu here, I'm going to toggle on scattering and turn it on. And you can see a little preview at the bottom here, which basically shows you what will happen once you do click and drag on the canvas. So let's do a little temporary test for now. So you see lots of little me popping here and there, which is not exactly under the cursor. It's just everywhere on the canvas, and that's what we want. Now, you can play around with the setting. You can add more counts, which we make it chaotic. So let's just leave it at one for now. Now, let's change the shape dynamics. Toggle that on and change the size jitter. So that means that every single iteration of the brush will have a different size to the original one. Once again, you can play around with the settings. But finally, what I like to do in those cases is to go back to the brush tip shape and increase the spacing, just so we can see a bit clearer what's going on. I'm going to play around with the size jitter again and just increase the minimum diameter and now watch what happens when i click from the top left corner to the bottom right corner <laughs> and that's how you can turn a picture into a custom brush and then a custom brush into a replicator and that's really cool now if you'd like to find those new brushes inside of photoshop later on simply select the brush tool by pressing b on your keyboard right click anywhere on your canva and you'll have all your options here so let's just close the default ones and all the way at the bottom you'll see there's the thumbs up one and the caveman one so you can just go between one and the other very easily you can even select them both by clicking on the first one holding down shift on your keyboard and clicking on the second one then you can right click on them and choose new brush group let's give it a name and now you'll be able to group them together add them at the ready and easy to access just in case you'd want to use those pictures so obviously for the sake of this tutorial i've used funny pictures but you can literally use anything that you've created yourself anything that you want and that's really cool because then not only you can have easy access to them let's say something that you use very often and you need to have access to them say on a daily basis for example or you could even create and sell your own custom presets on places like etsy deviant art and stuff like that and that's where the big money comes in a few weeks ago i've made a whole video breaking down a few different techniques on how to make money using photoshop one of them being creating and selling your own photoshop brushes and I even go and analyze a few sellers accounts to see how much money you can be expected to make and you'll be surprised by the results go and watch it and let me know in comments how you get on so there you have it this is how to create your own custom photoshop brushes i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something useful if you did and you did my my accent make sure you like this video because it really helps with the youtube algorithm also feel free to get subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my future videos also as promised here's a picture of a really cute turtle you deserve it Finally, if you're wondering what to watch next, you should watch this video right here. Thanks again for watching. My name is Francois. See you in the next video. <laughs>